Patients with newly diagnosed advanced Hodgkin's lymphoma are often treated with one of two chemotherapy regimens, ABVD or Biacop. These regimens have been associated with similar overall survival. However, several recent studies have suggested that Biacop might have 5 to 10 percent increased survival at five years, at a cost of substantial increase in toxicity. ABVD has few long-term toxicities, although pulmonary toxicity from the bleomycin affects about 6 percent of patients. Biacop, on the other hand, is a more intensive regimen with long-term toxicity that affects nearly every patient, including infertility, fatigue, and future risk of cancer. The current investigators explored the potential for adapting therapy by de-escalating treatment for patients with a good outlook and intensifying it for patients at highest risk for treatment failure. They designed a randomized controlled non-inferiority trial. Patients with newly diagnosed advanced Hodgkin's lymphoma underwent a baseline PET-CT scan, then two cycles of ABVD, followed by an interim PET-CT scan. Patients with negative interim scans were randomized to continue ABVD or to emit bleomycin in cycles 3 through 6. Patients with positive interim scans received Biacop. The primary endpoint was 3-year progression-free survival, with a pre-specified non-inferiority margin of 5%. After two cycles of ABVD, 937 patients, or 83.7%, had negative interim PET scans. 470 received ABVD and 465 received AVD. Three-year progression-free survival for these groups was 85.7% and 84.4%. The remaining 172 patients, or 16.3%, who had positive PET scans, received BIACOP. Their three-year progression-free survival was 67.5%. These results did not meet the pre-specified non-inferiority margin because the upper limit of the 95% confidence interval for the difference between ABVD and AVD was 5.3%. However, the omission of bleomycin after a negative interim PET-CT scan led to reduced pulmonary toxicity without evidence of reduced efficacy. Full trial results are available at NEJM.org.